days like today at the end of September kind of, you know, they leave you wanting that kind of temperature to linger around. I can't believe I'm here. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I'm not even going to give you a hard time. Oh, it is so nice outside. <laughs> it is beautiful. And I know I confidently said, we're not doing it again, not doing it. It, it is really, really hard to get this warm. We are in record territory. We're not quite there, but we're within a few degrees. That's how big of a deal this is, but it's short lived. Yeah, enjoy it while we can, because what's tomorrow like? Yeah, I actually ran into a friend earlier today and he was like, oh, I'm gonna get out tomorrow. I checked my phone and it looks like it's gonna be hot again, maybe a little cloud cover later. And I went, oh. He was like, what do you, what do you mean? Should I, should I not take the boat out on the water? And I was like, oh, tomorrow you might not see the rain, but you're definitely going to see the wind. Wind gusts around 35 to 45 miles per hour will be pretty widespread across the inland northwest. Then it's that drop in temperatures that takes us into the weekend. We've talked a bit about it. Tomorrow's a weather impact alert, alert day. It runs from about 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Gusts up to about 45 miles per hour. And it's just one of those ones where you got to be aware of some of the impacts. The impacts include an increased fire danger, blowing dust, and the potential for a little bit of rain. Blowing dust advisories in place, and so are those wind advisories as our frontal boundary moves in. Remember, we always talk about this, the energy. The energy, that is the energy. The energy sits off the coast. And right now we're under this beautiful ridge of high pressure. So instead of getting that energy, we have to wait. We have to wait for it to move in. It's pretty good though. We get tons of sunshine and pretty warm temperatures as it approaches. And then everything starts to change. Let's zoom in. Let's put it in motion and talk about what's headed our way because it is going to start with wind. Wind starts tomorrow morning. So even by the time you wake up and get out, if it's not a sunrise paddle or out on the water, you are going to be encountering some of those waves, even if you're getting off the water by say 11 a.m. Then it's scattered showers in the afternoon with wind. Then it's more widespread rain taking us into the evening with wind. And then as that moves out and we head into a sunny Thursday, it's a pretty big drop in temperatures. I think we stay sunny enough and we get enough warmth that just kind of soaks in tomorrow that we still wind up hitting 70 on Thursday. And then it's mid 70s headed into the weekend. And right now the weekend is looking pretty good.